Nexus Remote gives you the capabilities of putting a Nexus in the cloud and mounting it on your premise at your house or in your office, but using all the media that's up in the cloud. What you're seeing here in my particular case is I have a Nexus that's actually in the back right now that we're connected to with the project. I also have a Nexus up in the cloud. Cool thing about this is they just represent as the exact same thing. So a person has no idea really where the media is. What you also get is the capabilities here of pinning. So we designate a certain amount of drive space on the computer to do all the caching in. And this is just simply done through this interface. What's nice about this ultimately at the end of the day is that I can just go straight to my finder level and I can mount that. This is my workspace. Nexus Remote is not specific to Media Composer or Avid products. We can use other third-party applications, other NLEs if you want to. If I want to go in here and actually right-click here, you can see at the finder level on the PC or the Mac, basically you can go and pin it. It, the item in there. So it'll pre-cache it to your system. So when I go and use any application, it'll feel like it's actually sitting there right on that computer. When it comes down to the way we do an immediate composer, it's a little different. We have the capabilities here of, I just load this clip, the sequence up. The sequence here is basically in a project that's actually local, but the media is actually all up in that cloud nexus that I have. So right now, this media is all being cached in. As I struggle, Let's go across the timeline here. Basically, it's caching the media for me. If I want to pre-cache here too, I do have the capabilities right-clicking and saying cache media. So literally now, I can be working at home, taking advantage of my stereo, my surround sound setup, my external monitors, and my local media composer connecting to Nexus shared storage up in the cloud.